What's up, y'all? Flip here. EUC Chronicles back with another. And this is round two of our adventure from the last video. Obviously, it's the next day, but like I said, I wanted to go on a really long ride. One, to justify missing the 80-mile ride that the guys had last week. And two, because I realized riding so slow on the V11 gives you so much range and you're like flip how did you not figure that out before well shows you how many times I ride slow so just taking a quick break let me see how many miles I put on so far turn this down I am let's see here Forty six minutes into my ride, eight point nine miles, and I have ninety two percent battery left. So I can easily do eighty miles a day, which I plan on doing. As long as the sun's out. It's five oh eight now, the sun sets like eight thirty ish. So that's the only determining factor is I don't want to be too far out with no sunlight, but I did bring my extra super bright flashlight as well as the bright headlight on the V11, so I should be all right. So I just want to check in real quick, rest the legs, tell everybody I'm all right, I'm doing good. This is my favorite wrist guard. Now, obviously, this isn't, this is what they gave me from ortho to protect my wrist, but this thing is an absolute monster, and it looks cool, too. So when I go back to ortho this week, I'm going to ask for one for the right hand as well, because this is definitely going to be my new wrist guards. And it's so stylish. I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones or something. But anyway, we out here. We're going to be out here. I may, I may, may take some footage with me riding with the camera. I don't know how that's all going to work. I'm sitting down standing up and having the camera as you saw the other day it kind of takes two hands to hold the camera so i don't know how that's going to work but i'll try to take some footage but all right i'll be back in two and two Yeah. 
I'm gonna keep going for now. I came out to have an adventure and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I have a hoodie in my book bag. I always have a hoodie in my book bag. I have water, I have some cheese its if I get hungry or stranded. Probably lift off cheese its for another two days. I pace myself. So uh yeah. Just been going. See y'all in a bit. We have now come to my favorite, one of my favorites. I think this is the number one. There's there's like a top three of this bike trail, which is my favorite. But this is number one. This is what I call the speed track. Now, the bike path is right over to my left. It goes all the way through. But if you just veer slightly right, you come along this road, which goes to like, obviously like a bike park place, whatever the case. And it's a long stretch of road. And besides that one car that just went past me, there's like no cars on this road ever because it's not really a used road like people trying to get home. It's only for people who are coming to this park. And I guess going to wherever that is over there. So if I was in a hundred percent top ten, top tier shape, I would be gleaming the cube on this road right now. But because I cannot I'm just gonna sit and take a nice leisure ride on one of my favorite parts of the bike trail. Now eventually the bike path comes back up like crisscross applesauces um, and you know, hop back on it. But the last time on the way back, I think I just took this road as far out as it would go. I mean, it kind of brought me right back to the bike trail somehow. I don't remember what I have to like, it was like a long time before I go a year and a half ago. But, um, I definitely know that the bike trail comes up, up ahead again. And then after that, it can, it reconnects, but then that requires me riding on the road, which I, like I said, I'm not in top 10 shape at top 10. I don't know why I keep saying top 10. I'm not in top tier shape at all. So I keep hearing my voice. I don't know if it's coming through the speaker or what. I think it's coming through the speaker. Check. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, I'm not in top tier shape to be doing any of that. So I'm just going to get back on the bike path but this road I don't know man maybe I will maybe I will stay on this road the bike path is right here if you want to continue down that way but that road sucks oh I know what this road is I remember I remember what this road is I totally remember what this road is this is gonna bring me by all the houses that I went past last time. And uh, it's a nice, like I said, this road is so smooth and buttery. But this has been my journey this whole trip, just, just slow, steady, and chill ride. It's different. It is definitely different, but I am enjoying myself just as much if I was out here gleaming the cube. I'm only concerned, like I said earlier, was just how much sun do I have left? Don't want to be stuck out in this area with no lights. And the last thing I want to do is bitch out and have to call an Uber to take an Uber back to my truck. Because that would just, that is just so, so corny. So I want to, I want to tough it out. I just don't want to put myself in a position where you know, 
putting myself at risk of not seeing something on the trail or falling or something like that. Well, I almost had an incident when I, back at the water. This road leans a little too much on that side. Let me try to, yeah, that's better. It pulls on that side a little too much. I don't like it when I'm sitting. If I was standing, I wouldn't mind, but when I'm sitting it, I could feel it pulling the unicycle. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut the video again and I'm gonna sit here with my with my thoughts and try to figure out if I'm going to keep going or if I'm gonna turn around at some point and be a be a whole ass trick. I'm trying not to be a whole ass trick, so we'll see. I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. Ow. Yo, check. And now we are at my second favorite part of this bike trail, which is coming up right ahead. And I think this is where we're going to stop, take a breather, and figure out if we're going to go any further. It's almost 6.30 now. The sun's going to be down by 8.30. Would you look at this? I mean, come on. Will you look at it? This is the point where I would take a Coogee Rolls shot, but because I can't ride fast. We're just going to take a slow Coogee roll. I don't know how far this microphone is going to work away from the camera. But we don't need this hot for this. <laughs> oh man thank goodness this camera's light What a view, huh? Ow, ow, ow. What a view. I didn't realize how close we were to the water. Like, really close to it. the closest let me see what time it is 
614. I think 15 more minutes and then we'll turn around. Let me see what the app says as far as my time. It's going to take about the same amount of time to get back. A little over an hour and a half ride time. Um, 18.5 miles so far. So yeah, that 80 mile ride is definitely out of, I got to come out here at like two o'clock to do 80. So we're going to ride a little further up another 15 minutes. Then we'll turn back around, head back. Look, look at this. Look at my battery. Look at that. Still have full bars. I mean, I'm 18 miles in, so. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to have range anxiety. It's best you slow your butt down because, man. Ow. Can't do that. I'm trying to hold the camera the best I can, but I'm going to put this thing away. Got to cross the road again. It's like this little thing come up here. I just want to look at, I don't know what it is, like it's Asian design. I just, I just want to check it out. And then, yeah, we'll turn back around. I can smell rain too. So if those clouds in front of me are rain clouds, I definitely want to stay away from that. So yeah, man, let me uh, put this away and uh, I'll be back. I'll hit y'all in a minute. Peace. All right, change of plans. I just checked my phone. Now it's a hundred percent chance of rain. It went from thirty percent chance to sixty percent chance. Now a hundred percent chance of rain, and it's expected within the next half an hour. So I need to hopscotch my butt back in the opposite direction. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to keep exploring. I really did, but I don't want to get caught out in rain. And if it, like, it was one thing earlier when it said it was just a drizzle that was coming. I could handle a drizzle. Now what it says is we're getting rain. And like I said, I can smell it. Ah, ow. Just extending the pole is painful. But anyway, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to hightail it back. I'm just going to record until the camera dies. Screw it. Get some, get some nice scenic shots. My favorite. So yeah, gotta, gotta remind myself that the distance I would usually do in four hours, I can't do when I'm riding at 15 miles an hour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride a little bit faster. But like I said, I'm fully prepared that if, if, if I have to bail, the left hand has to do all the work. The right hand, I can use my right elbow, but I cannot use my hand. So, hey, bunny. But yeah, let's hightail it out of here, man. I know I'm going to get stuck in the caught in this rain. Don't hear nothing. Don't hear nothing. Don't hear nothing. Let's go. Oh boy. It's a long ride back, man. So I did see a bar, which was like maybe like four miles back. So if it's a downpour, guess who's going to the bar? But hopefully the rain's coming from the opposite direction. Oh no, it's coming from the side. It's gonna come from the side. The clouds are all black to my left. All right, we're gonna take the road back so I can ride a little bit faster without all these bumps.
Not going to push it, though. Just tab it faster. Maybe we'll hit 20. But, yeah, man. I wanted to show you guys a little Asian hut place. Because I was actually going to ride over there just to see what exactly it was. Was it a farmer's market? I don't know what it was. Maybe it's private property. Maybe we can't even go over there. But I definitely wanted to go and check it out. But it's okay. Next time. But I'm, I'm definitely happy I did this. Happy I, I went this far. Because I wasn't going to go this far. And to see all this... This scenic view is great. Good times, good times. I was like, what the hell is that noise? That's free range chicken for real. Ugh. Why didn't I look at the weather? Get myself together. I gotta figure out what's up with this foot fatigue, man. Like, I don't know if it's the size of the pedals kind of pedals the angle of the pedals i know i haven't been riding for a while so maybe my feet are just weak but oh bambi bambi where are you going bambi 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 anyway um yeah I don't, I don't know what's going on with the foot fatigue man it's not as bad as yesterday the, the insoles that i got are definitely doing much better than the ones i had in yesterday but still, oh, I'm sure the microphone can't pick nothing up. Ugh. Let me see something here. Yeah, I wanted to test and see if the microphone was picking up the wind noise, and it definitely is. I just slowed down just a little bit, and yeah, it's definitely picking it up. But you see what I'm talking about, about this road? I'm, nobody. It's, it's like a ghost road. Look how long I've been on this thing without a single car. Ghost road. That's this new name, the ghost road. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. It's a bike path. Gross.
this road is insane. This is the road I was speaking on, I think in the last video or earlier in this video, about how it's right next to the bike trail. But every time I've ridden the bike trail, the, tr the amount of traffic on this road is so minimal. The only problem is, I think it's like a 55 mile an hour road, so there's a little danger in that. But aside from that, the amount of traffic is so minimal that I was like, one of these days I'm gonna ride on this road. And man, oh man. I'm so glad I did. I'm stuck. I, I, and look how much room they give you on both shoulders. It's the same amount of room on both shoulders. So no matter what side you're riding on, I'm actually riding against traffic right now just so I can keep an eye. It's hard for me to turn my head and look and see what's behind me. So I'd rather be on this side so I can see what's coming. They can see me. And uh, yeah, man, this, 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 this road is nuts. Absolutely, ow, absolutely nuts. Uh, I just wanted to rest my feet because the blood was just, uh, it was getting bad. And I don't want to sit, not just yet. I want to feel this road out, check it out. And before I, you know, do any sitting riding on this road. But the sides so far have been great. There's not glass, there's not abundance of rocks. Oh, what am I talking for? You guys can't hear me. Never mind. 